Hello and welcome back to Have Picks Guide to Industrial Craft. Uh, in this guide, we are currently at the version right prior to the 1.5 release. And in this guide today, we are going to cover little knickknacks, tools, uh, and extra bits here and there that you can craft aside from machinery. So let's get inside here. And this is my regular. Uh, regular map that it's not my tutorial map so my my tower is substantially larger than it normally is and let's uh, let's, see, let's start in the top right or top left here the first thing we're gonna work on is the mining drill and the mining drill is very handy in that it acts as a mining pick and I believe a shovel at the same time. So we take five bars of reinforced, or excuse me, refined iron, a charged rebattery, so you gotta chuck that into an MFE and pump it up, and you get a mining drill. Now mining drills have a charge on them. They uh, only, or they use energy every time you uh, use them, and once that runs out, you need to charge them back up, and we'll get back. We'll get to that here shortly. Uh, next up is the chainsaw for all you zombie-hating freaks. It's the exact same mats, just a different, different setup. And that gives us a chainsaw. And chainsaws act as swords and axes. They chop down trees at a prodigious rate. Now to charge these we are going to need a mobile charging unit. And for that we're going to need four pieces of cable and, and the cardinal directions and a circuit in the middle. And that gives us a mobile charger and mobile chargers. You equip, equip them on your action bar and right click and you take the machine that you want to recharge put it into the top slot, a charged rebattery in the bottom and then this will move to the finished slot, take it, put it back in your inventory and put the rebattery back in your inventory and then just close out and it charges the item. Now that can get to be uh, rather cumbersome. So a good way of keeping your tools charged is something called the Bat Pack. And it is Batman improved, of course. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to name it that. And it acts as a charging mobile charging unit and a piece of armor at the same time. So what we have here are six uncharged rebatteries, two pieces of cable, and a tin ingot. You may use charged rebatteries, and instead of getting a bat pack empty, you will get a bat pack charged. So we'll take that, and in the current version, in order to charge a bat pack, you must go to an MFE and stick it in the top slot and it will suck down 60,000 units of energy and store it within itself for future use. Now in order to use this, let's get outside here. In order to use it, you're going to need to put it on your action bar and then right click it to activate it first. After which, you need to equip it as a chest piece like I have done so here. So, bat pack, right click, back into the inventory, equip it as a chest piece. And you'll see that we've gained four pieces of armor down here and on our on our armor slot. And as the battery on the bat pack drains, you will lose those pieces of armor as if you took durability damage. And once it's completely empty, those four will disappear completely. 
and also of note, machines that are using energy off your backpack, the chainsaw or the drill, must have at least some charge in order for them to run off the backpack. So let's go up here to the chainsaw and see it chews through trees really quick. And even leaves if you wanted to cut down the leaves. A regular mining drill, here's some smooth stone, busts through really quick, and on dirt it's nearly instantaneous. Uh, there is an upgrade to the drill. If you were to take the mining drill and place it in your crafting table, see what I can throw out here. And just place it anywhere where you'd have at least one space to the left and the right in the top of it and fill these three spaces with diamond. You would get a diamond tipped drill. And diamond tri tipped drills look like diamond weapons, armor, tools, etc and they're also faster than the normal version. So smooth stone turns to dust rather quickly and dirt you blink and you miss it. It just poof, straight through. And I seem to have chewed through my hill. And there's my next conquest over in the distance there. I plan on making a, uh, a fortress of some sort. Now we have the mining drill, the diamond drill, the chainsaw, the bat pack, and the mobile charger. So what else do we have? Well, a couple things. If I could get back up to my table here. Uh, let's go over this next. There's a... For advanced machinery, you're going to start to need things called charged energy crystals. Um, they're, they're not very difficult to make and the machinery required to make them is not hard to come by either. So we'll go over that next. So the first thing you're going to need is the charger. And that requires two regular generators and the mats associated with that piece of cable in the middle and two pieces of glowstone and that gives you a crystal charger kind of looks like a uh, uh, electric furnace and I already have two downstairs so I'm not going to craft a third and to make the diamonds take a regular diamond or an industrial crafted diamond surround it with redstone and you get an energy crystal now, any pattern that requires an energy crystal to make requires it to be charged. So, to charge that, oops, guess I should have kept that there. Excuse me. To charge that, head downstairs to our energy charger, our crystal charger. Put the charger in the or the crystal in the top slot and this will charge that crystal eventually. Uh, it takes a bit, they're slow. This will fill up and, event and then this will move to here and it will read as charged. Now if you have, have it so your generators kick everything out into chests and you do more than one at a time they'll be thrown into the chests. I just have two chargers here side by side with a chest in the middle. And you end up with these charged crystals. So, what can we do with charged energy crystals? Well, we can make a couple different things. We can make, this is the pattern for a mining laser, three refined iron, three glowstone, a charged crystal, and a st steak gives you a mining laser, which I actually never used until yesterday, and they're actually really cool. Uh, mining lasers, I thought originally just go through or burn one shot on a block that is not the case here's some dirt 
right equip it, right click it to fire, and it chews through pigs and dirt and anything else that chooses to get in its way. If you fire it down, be careful you're not on the block because it will make a subst substantial uh, divot in the local terrain. I use it for killing off the animals that show up at night. I'm, I'm not sure how far that dot travels. It doesn't look like it goes too far. And that does not run off a backpack, unfortunately. If you need to charge it, you have to bring it to a crystal charger, and you throw it in the top slot, and that will completely recharge it. It doesn't look like it fits, but it, it's just it's just the coating. And when that fin whenever you use your mining laser to where it's completely depleted, it will turn gray all over. Uh, mine still has charge left, so it has the red tip in the scope. And when it finishes charging, it'll end up right there. So what else can we make here? Ah, yes. Automated miners. Now there will be a part two on how to set these up uh, following very shortly after this video. And as you can see they require a lot of mats. But the one thing that we need to cover first is the OED device which is this. Two gold dust, glowstone, electric circuit, and three pieces of cable. Now what that will do for you, you don't have to use it in your uh, you don't have to use it right away in your automatic miner. You can actually take this thing and walk around and right click it and it will read two blocks in every direction from your current block that you're standing in and tell you the density of the ore content around you. Not very useful, but kind of a nice little gimmick. But what that does for the miner is it allows it to find ore directly beneath it. So to craft, to craft a miner, you will need one generator, one ODE device, one electric circuit, two pieces of refined iron, a machine block, and a mining drill. Quite a lot of materials for just one thing. However, they do pay for themselves rather quickly. And as you, as you start cranking them out, uh, you can actually fill up chests very quickly. And if you look out here, each of those torches is where I've uh, set up a miner and had it run a complete cycle and it really does pay back in spades what what it uh, uses to make. Uh, a lot of this redstone's from my mining down in the cellar uh, but all this coal uh, and all these extras over here except for the obsidian are are from the automatic automated miners. So next up is going to be how to set these miners up and how to wire them effectively. A couple things you're going to need ahead of time. You're going to need uh, two high voltage transformers, uh, probably an MFE or two on top of that, uh, at least a half a stack of cable, five, uh, four or five generators, regular generators uh, for how I do my setup, uh, charcoal and and or rather fuel, bio, whatever you want to make, and a wrench, a couple wrenches actually would be a good thing to bring along as well. So go ahead, grab your mats, grab your crafting table, and I'll meet you outside for part two.